and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Mike's looking for the sign, aren't you? Today, we're going to talk about how to improve your balance while walking. We're going to show you seven si simple exercises. But by the way, if you're new to our oh, channel, yes. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our uh, website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. Go to the giveaway section. You'll find out what we're giving away. We don't know what we're giving away right now because this is a future video. Uh -huh. uh, but also, uh, it'll be pinned to the top of the page, that contest that is, of Facebook. If you go find us on Facebook, you want a short version of us, go to Twitter or Instagram or TikTok. We have a 60-second version of our program. So this program today is designed that you can do it while you're going for a walk. Or you can do it in your own home. You can do it with shoes on. You can do it with shoes off. Now, we want to emphasize that, we always emphasize this, we want safety first. So if you have any trouble with your balance at all, you want to make sure you use a cane or a walking stick or you're walking next to a wall, something that you can hold, or, or a countertop, something you can hold on to when you're doing these. But uh, we're also going to show you, uh, by the way, we got sent some of these walking sticks. They're called uh, Prime Stick, but they're by Dynamo, correct, Mike? Right. Yeah, they're really nice. Uh, we'll talk about them at the end. Uh, Brad, let's go ahead. I'm going to get out of the way, and you're gonna. We're going to go ahead and talk them through the different exercises they can do. Yeah, these are really nice because uh, they're practical. You can do them. They're, they're even kind of fun, Bob, and they're very. Uh, What's that uh, on the helpful. floor? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> My All goodness. Right. Okay, here we go. You're going to talk through. Talk them through. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Sounds so. Good. We're going to use a stick for, for help. I am. And I'm going to walk on my heels. You know, if you can walk with the stick up. And then if you lose your balance, you immediately catch it with the stick. Um, so that's uh, the first one. And you can do it, again, incorporate it as you're out for a walk. People won't even notice you're doing it on your heels. Yeah. I think you're walking off frame there, Brad. Oh, <laughs> the next one is simply sidestepping. You know, obviously make sure you have a clear path to sidestep. And uh, just sidestep. Remember the, pe the yellow line right oh, there. Oh, yeah. I don't want to walk off. Yeah, no, and we got the, oh, sure. yeah, the cone shape. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're feeling comfortable with it, go till your feet touch. It's a little more challenging. And if that makes you feel wobbly, have a space between your feet. Yeah, it's a real common more. way that people fall. You know, they'll sidestep in their house and, and tumble over, particularly some of the elderly people. Um, and what's the next one, Bob? Oh, this one's a tough one. Yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah, the karaoke, or sometimes known as the grapevine, which here, and I use this a lot with patients uh, as we progress them. Sometimes we start in parallel bars, but you know, hopefully that you are in a position where you can do this. You're so, really getting a lot of ankle movement and ankle strengthening yeah. with this. If you had a hip replacement, you're not going to do this right, one unless right. you get permission from your doctor. This is one that you see, you know, young people do it at a higher speed. Yeah. Uh, football players do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this one is a little confusing for some people. You're like, I always say, put it in front, my right foot. And then you're going to put it behind so you yep. alternate. Either way, you're going to challenge your balance and uh, you don't have to get too concerned about it. All right, Brad, the it. one that you missed, uh, you actually want to, while you're walking, you want to look up and down oh, and side yes. to side. This is really common that people lose their balance. I work with patients and quite often they get distracted and, and they turn quickly and they lose their balance. Yep. It's something you really need to work on right? Uh, and, and be aware of. So looking down, looking up. And then when you're you're in the park and doing this, people will be looking. At, what is he? What is he looking at? They'll be <laughs> they'll be curious to see what you're doing. And make sure that you got a clear path for a way so you don't bump into a tree or something. All right, number six is marching, Brad. Ah, yep. So, so you can start out slow, or you know, knees coming up low. We'll go at a profile. And, and you can march while you're moving too. You sure. Can march forward. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to go off. You know. Right. You know, and, you know, backwards is probably not such a good idea because you don't have eyes behind your head. Um, and it'd be a little more difficult, yeah. too. 
So yeah, you can walk with marching or stationary. And then the final one is a strengthening one. Uh, oh. This strengthens a lot mm. of the muscles that you use in balance, and yep. it's just air squats. So yep, just doing some squats. And if you don't feel safe, you can do it with a park bench behind you or sure. a chair behind you. Right. And uh, it'll just start strengthening some of those larger muscles that you use. For balance. Yeah, so you, you want to not do this. This could be a common mistake I've had people say. So it's good tall posture and then just down. Again, as far as you feel comfortable, not too deep. So again, we have the prime stick here by Dynamo. Really nice stick. Uh, it's got an excellent tip on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's got, so it really grabs on its wider base. Yep. I actually think, you didn't you even have it balancing the other day, oh, bud? Oh, yeah. That's it's not going to balance on carpet, but and and even on a regular floor, it's, it takes a little bit. But it, it does it does stand there, yep. and uh, it's very lightweight. And you want to show the adjustment on it, Brad? Yeah, you just rotate it a, a turn or so, and very easily adjust for different heights. Even someone as tall as Bob, uh, six and a half footer. Yep, it's it's fine. It works well. So, and and I don't know how it's short got the that handles on it too. Um, you know the little yeah. straps. I like the strap. This is adjustable, actually. The uh, the uh, strap here. It's nice. I really yeah. like that. You know why I like walking stick spread? Because to me, and this is what we did with my wife when she actually hurt her knee. Um, it, you, know, you don't want to walk around with a cane, even when you're older. Uh, right? yes. But a walking stick, you know, kind of looks like you're just maybe going hiking or something like that. They're it's a cool. Lot more acceptable. They're mm. a lot more cool. Mm. They're a lot more acceptable. You can walk around, you know, even in, indoors, and it just seems to be not the stereotypical cane or walker that, that yeah. you're gonna exactly so, might get people asking you still what's wrong with you but uh and if you can use one in each hand and you walk like yeah. this it actually works your shoulders a little bit more and gives you a little more of a workout well it keeps you a better posture too yeah that too mm -hmm. don't bend over as much so all right thanks everybody for watching